Hello everybody. It's been a while and I am finally going to upload this third part of the irrigation system we did here at my house. I'm not a professional. I just YouTube and ask people questions and our irrigation system was a success here so here's the last part. It's now or never. Now comes the rest of the action for this irrigation system. So before we actually started this whole project, I bought the supplies and made sure I was going to be able to complete this project before we even started it, right? Meaning I had bought the supplies to be able to bring it forth. And so in, in the clips to come, I will explain how I put together these inline valves for the irrigation system. A lot of research on YouTube and picking up people's brains um, came into play to bring this forth. So here's what I'm doing with this one and three quarter inch jar top inline valve. So here's the valve. And so I'm putting this male, here's the valve, this is how it comes. And then it also comes with two of these thread, threaded pieces. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, so this is my male adapter. It's threaded on this side and slip on this side. This is where the one inch PVC will go from the main. So I am putting some pipe thread sealant. I'm using this instead of Teflon tape. I saw somebody in a, some guy in a video do it. So I think this was gonna be easier and the guy said it was better because this will just adjust to the thread rather than it being bigger or smaller like um, if you use the Teflon tape that's what it would do it could either be too much or too little so we'll see now I just put it on there and then I tighten it with whatever this tool is called, a wrench. Then I use this threaded piece for where the irrigation line will be hooked up to this drip lock. So first it's this piece.
Now I'm gonna tighten it with the wrench. Now I'm gonna put thread sealant on this part too. So I wish I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they didn't, just didn't have any slip valves. The ones I got are threaded on both sides, so this is what I'm doing to every thread, every threaded piece. Just fine, this is like therapy. And then it'll be therapy when all my pl plants are growing because they got water. So it's therapy on top of therapy on top of therapy. <laughs> if, that, if there's such thing. Okay. That, that was... Oh, actually. I have one more, but I didn't get the right. I guess all of the male adapters that I got were right except for this one. And I didn't see it. So, I guess I'll just thread this piece for now. I mean, put thread sealant on this side. Okay, so I attached the first PVC, one inch PVC to the male adapter and placed a T on it. So the size of this that I'll be cutting, so there's hardly any space right here is going to be two inches and a quarter so i'm going to cut 11 more piece 11 pieces of two inches and one quarter so i have this uh kind of like a ratchet tool for a pipe cutting i think it cuts up to like an inch and a half size pvc pipe so i'm going to start cutting two inch and a quarter pieces down one down ten more to go Here on this little piece. Put some here on this little piece. Put some here. So first I'm gonna attach, I think I should attach this to this first.
So we put two down. So I'll just repeat this process nine more times. Should be ten, but I'm missing that other bell adapter part on one of them. So it's pretty simple once you know how to do it on one. It's the same for the rest. So our, what we're going to do next is, tell them. We're going to go start attaching it to the main line in the trenches. Because we, we don't have no more T's, but we have two more. No, these aren't T's. Oh. These are mine. Remember I told you what makes them a T? Do you remember? Remember yesterday you asked me why do they call it a T-shirt? T. What shape is it? It looks uh, like a T, right? Shape or letter? It's in the shape of a T. Okay. Um, press subscribe <coughs> if you like this. Okay, so now that everything I could do was put the T's on the valves, these these are going to go together in one irrigation valve box so i'm going to cut a one inch piece to attach these two pieces mm. okay you ready i'm going to put primer on these primer what is primer this stuff this purple stuff right here. Oh. You know, like in the, in the iron workers, they have told us about this. Like, if you like use this, they're like, because you know, they always get in a fight. Like, if you get to a fist fight, they're like, whatever. But as soon as you pull this thing out, that's like a felony. Babe, how come the primer does this? Do I have to wait till it's like completely dry? Huh? Ooh, that's a bad seal right there, bro. So you know you have that little spot right there? Yeah. But even though it's sealed right there? Look at it. Is it? Yeah. You sure? Uh-huh. That would have been a no-go on that way. Your other one is good. I want this one. Hi guys. <laughs> so we're back to the main. This is the shutoff valve to the house. This is the pipe coming in from I guess the street over there, the main main, and this is the one to shut off the house. And then here we put a T to branch off for the irrigation system. So here we have a shut off, a shut off ball valve, and now I'm gonna add one inch PVC here and an elbow to go this way to connect to this, and then we'll keep going straight down this trench.
pop stuff in. Eric turned it on. No leaks so far. This one. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't be here. for sure thinking they were going to be warm or something. Nope. Even like maybe through the threaded stuff. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do here. So, I didn't have a T for this other valve or I didn't have this smell adapter either it's a one inch smell adapter right here on this valve and then right here there's a three uh, one inch to three quarter inch adapter to this half inch for the irrigation tube but this is gonna be for the pond so now I'm gonna glue this little one inch piece to this T and to here to attach to here like these are Pretty much here, so we left a, this black color to be connected with this one. So on here, there are two wires, one for the common and one for the wire that'll go to the certain zone it's going to so this white one is the common that's why these other two black ones from these valves are hooked up to here so now i need to undo this and add this one from here to make sure it's on there and it's on there so now I'm gonna hook this other wire up to this one and twist it See if this will cut it. I have my electrical cutters in the garage. I don't want to go all the way there. Okay, that worked. Those are wire cutters too. So now I add this nut and 
twist and pull it to see if it doesn't come off. So now that is hooked up. So now I could actually I'm gonna put some half inch irrigation valve here before I put the valve box and cover it. So for now I'll just cover the trenches. Bury the trenches. So I have put tape on the holes that were in this valve box so that the dirt doesn't get in here. Huh. So now I'm going to start, this is zone one, so this is for the raised beds that are in the front. A half inch Oh, never mind. This is what I'm putting, half inch barbed elbow. Pretty much what I'm basically gonna do with all of them. Half inch and then an elbow. 
and then rise it up with more half inch and then another elbow here at the top so that the irrigation line doesn't bend. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Once you got it down for one valve, it's pretty much the same for the rest. Here's the pressure from the, from the trees and the flowers, which is not much because there's so much paper on it. But you'll mm, be able to see the difference here shortly. So we're here at the clock where all the wires to each valve are running into here. So that white cable that's in each valve is for this common ground section. So here's valve one, which one, two, and three, and four are in the front. Five, six, and seven are by the greenhouse. Area eight, nine, and ten are by the chicken coop area. Eleven and twelve are right here by the garage area. So let's test out zone one. Auto. Somebody. So it is not nine fifty six here. It is 2.51 p.m. The pressure is more. See if we could turn it up a little bit. This one's Let's get the least pressure. This one's getting hot.
Yo, these apricots are almost ready. Look at this. Yes, but don't grab it. Okay. Like and then there's the larva. The little baby.